Officers arrested in the murder case of Armenian-Turkish journalist Frant Dink have joined the civilian suspects in blaming one-time allies or colleagues for the killing, after the inspection was recently widened. Policeman Muhyiddin Zenit, one of the key suspects in the case who was arrested last week, said his superiors used him as bait, forcing him to talk on the phone with one of the organizers of the assassination. Zenit said in his testimony that four of his superiors wanted him to talk to Erhun Tunsil, one of the figures behind the convicted triggerman Ogan Samast, on January 19, 2007, the day Dink was killed, according to a report on the Radical News Portal on January 23. Zenit said the superiors were Ali Fuat Il Mazer, then Istanbul Police Intelligence Chief, and Engin Din and Farouk Sar, the two Trabzon Police Intel Chiefs at the time, adding that Trabzon Branch Chief Erkan Demir wanted him to call Tunsil. I see the people who I think was negligent in the murder used me as bait, he told the judge on January 22. The real suspects have hidden themselves. The triggerman also alleged last month that then Trabzon police chief Ramazan Akurek and Il Mazer were behind the murder. Samast assassinated Dink in broad daylight on a busy street outside the office of the bilingual Turkish Armenian Weekly Agos in Istanbul's Sisli district. Samast is serving a sentence of 22 years and 10 months in a high-security prison. Yusuf Hayal and Tunsil are accused of encouraging Samast to kill Dink, in the Black Sea province of Trabzon. Civil servants and institutions allegedly implicated in the murder should be investigated, the Constitutional Court ruled on July 17, 2014. The ruling became a milestone in the case that has been lingering since the killing in 2007. On January 23, however, a court rejected Dink's family's request for the inspection to be deepened, ruling that such a move would cause the issue to linger even longer. A group, Friends of Hrant, gathered in front of the courthouse as the decision was being made. Aidan Engin, a journalist with the group, said the government's efforts to put the blame for the murder entirely on the so-called parallel structure, a symbolic phrase used by top officials for the Gulenist movement was unconvincing.